Did you know that Tesla CEO Elon Musk sold Tesla stocks again? These days, seeing Musk's name in the news or any social media platform no longer seems to be a surprise. The billionaire businessman's name is once again plastered all over the media for various reasons. Don't miss this info. Since completing his purchase of Twitter late last month, Tesla CEO Elon Musk sold $3.95 billion worth of Tesla stock. Musk's Tesla stock sales, totaling 19.5 million shares, have been widely anticipated ever since the Tesla CEO reached a deal to buy Twitter for $44 billion. Musk has sold blocks of Tesla shares worth a total of $15.4 billion earlier this year since his deal to buy Twitter was announced. The sale came just weeks after Tesla reported $3.3 billion in profit and $21.45 billion in revenue for the third quarter, falling short of Wall Street expectations, which caused a 4% drop on the day. Tesla's value has dropped about 46% this year, but Musk's net worth remains just under $200 billion. Musk admitted at the time of the result that he was obviously overpaying for Twitter right now. Get extra $10 cash. Open an account and deposit any amount on Moomoo. It's a limited bonus for celebrating Moomoo's 10th anniversary. Check the link below. Moomoo is a great platform to trade stocks with many unique, easy-to-use tools. I think a lot of you will find it really helpful, especially if you want to be more hands-on with your investments. For example, find out the right time to buy and sell stocks. Link in the description below. Twitter confirmed Musk bought the social media company on October 27th, but he waited until November 4th to start selling additional Tesla shares. He also sold blocks of Tesla stock earlier this month, according to filings to the Securities and Exchange Commission. The filings come despite assurances from Tesla's chief executive officer and single largest shareholder that he was done offloading the stock. Musk claimed in April no further transactions were planned, then again in August, saying it was important to avoid an emergency sale in case he needed to close the Twitter acquisition and struggled to bring in additional equity partners. At this point, it's not clear if the money Musk raised went toward the Twitter purchase or to support losses at Twitter since he took over. Musk disclosed that Twitter has seen a massive drop in revenue as a growing number of advertisers pause spending on the platform in the wake of his takeover of the company. He blamed activist groups for pressuring advertisers for the loss of ad dollars. It is worth noting that Twitter lost $270 million in the quarter ending June 30th, well before Musk took over and advertisers began to flee. It had only $2.7 billion of cash on hand on its balance sheet as of June 30th. Wedbush Securities tech analyst Dan Ives said that Musk's two weeks of ownership of Twitter have been a debacle of epic proportions. The more he gets into Twitter, the more it becomes a quicksand type of deal, said Ives. Basically, Elon Musk followed through with his takeover of the social media platform in October, after spending months trying to get out of it. It's not fully clear how the $44 billion deal ultimately was financed, beyond the roughly $13 billion in debt commitments by Wall Street banks. Several high-profile individuals promised to invest some $7 billion, though it isn't known whether all of them stuck to their pledges. Also, Musk has never said publicly how he planned to gather his share of the cash needed to close the deal. Now that it is all said and done, what happens next? Well, Twitter's losing money and now faces annual interest payments of nearly $1.2 billion. Since Musk took over, several major companies have halted their ads on the platform, waiting to see how it evolves under the billionaire's leadership. It looks like Musk is preparing for things to stay bad at Twitter for the next year, said Gene Munster of Loop Ventures after the stock sales became public. He's preparing for Twitter to be a money hole. Musk's drastic moves to cut cost and overhaul the platform's operations have resulted in two tumultuous weeks at the social media company. Musk actually fired half the staff and later asked some to come back. Some employees are not entirely clear on whether they are still employed there or not. The deal has also sparked concern among some Tesla shareholders that the CEO is spreading himself too thin and would have to get rid of even more of his stock. He still owns about 14% according to Bloomberg data. Of the $36 billion worth of shares Musk has sold, around half of that has come since he went public with the Twitter buyout plan data compiled by Bloomberg show. Tesla's stock decline has dragged down Musk's fortune to $179.5 billion from $340 billion at its height, according to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index. 
Musk, who is the world's richest man, now holds around 135 million Tesla shares. Experts believe that this is not the best time to be selling Tesla shares, which have lost 46% of their value so far this year on disappointing sales caused by supply chain problems. Musk received an average price of $202.52 for Tesla shares he sold since the Twitter deal closed, which is down 10% just since he closed on his deal to buy Twitter. It is no secret that Tesla is facing growing competition in the electric vehicle market from established automakers such as Volkswagen, Ford, and General Motors. And some investors have expressed concerns that Musk will be too distracted by his purchase of Twitter to give enough attention to addressing Tesla's problems. Tesla investors are exacerbated by this never-ending Twitter albatross, said Dan Ives. Musk needs to look in the mirror and end this constant merry-go-round of Twitter overhang on the Tesla story with his focus back on the golden child Tesla, which needs his time more than ever. Our fear heading into the final days of the deal was that Musk was going to be forced to sell more Tesla stock to fund the disaster Twitter deal, and ultimately, those fears came true, which speaks to some of the massive selling pressures on the stock of late," wrote Daniel Ives at Wedbush. For Musk, who multiple times over the past year has said he is done selling Tesla stock, yet again loses more credibility with investors and his loyalists in a boy who cried wolf moment. Most of Musk's wealth is tied up in shares of Tesla. After the sale of his Tesla shares, Musk's personal net worth dropped below $200 billion, according to Forbes, although he remains to be the world's richest person. Even after selling Tesla stock seven times this year, including his most recent sale of 19.5 million shares, Musk still owns 445.6 million shares, says S&P Global Market Intelligence. That gives him a 14.1% ownership position in the electric vehicle company that he co-founded in 2003. That keeps him the largest single owner of the stock. That also means Musk is still in more financial control of his company than many other tycoons are of theirs. Amazon.com founder Jeff Bezos owns just 9.8% of the company, and Mark Zuckerberg still holds 13% of Meta, a costly position this year. Many believe that Musk's Tesla share sale is a normal part of a company's maturing process. Big institutions now own more than 42% of Tesla stock. Most of these owners are traditional investment managers. Individuals like Musk only own 15.6%, a vast majority of which is Musk himself. The only other large individual investor is Oracle founder Larry Ellison. Public investors like state pensions own the balance of the shares totaling 41% of the company. Activists like D.E. Shaw are hardly involved in Tesla. In fact, D.E. Shaw only owns 0.1% of the stock, and that's why, while Musk is selling, he's still in control. That doesn't stop investors, though, from still lamenting Musk's selling. While Musk might be easing up his position in Tesla, giant ETF and mutual fund investors are loading up. The second largest holder of Tesla is Vanguard Group. The investment company Giant, which is the largest owner of most stocks, owns 204.7 million shares of Tesla for a 6.5% stake in the company. Vanguard runs two of the five ETFs that own the most Tesla shares. Vanguard S&P 500 ETF owns 19.3 million shares, and Vanguard Total Stock Market owns 17.6 million shares. The investment manager also runs the ETF with the fourth largest percentage exposure to Tesla. Vanguard Consumer Discretionary ETF puts nearly 16% of its portfolio in the single stock. To satisfy the needs of these ETFs, Vanguard has been aggressively buying. It now owns nearly 58% more Tesla stock than it did two years ago. Next is BlackRock, another giant in the ETF industry. The company owns 166 million shares of Tesla, accounting for 5.3% of the company's shares outstanding. BlackRock's iShares Core S&P 500 ETF is the third largest holder of Tesla stock after Spider S&P 500 ETF Trust and Investco Triple Q Trust. And like Vanguard, BlackRock is aggressively adding Tesla shares. Its number of shares held is up nearly 46% in two years. Overall, experts have varying opinions on Musk's sale of his Tesla shares. Make sure to subscribe to this channel to see Tesla stock updates again.